Hello everyone, Jill here. A few weeks ago, we have talked about my game of the year so far for the JRPGs, and I realize it's been a while since I've made the JRPGs of all time list. This time, however, I want to make it more complete by extending the list into the top 100, which I will make into some parts. Knowing that it is based on my personal experience, I know that we will have a different opinion about some placements or game choices, and that is why I recommend you to watch this video more like a journey through various JRPG references than focusing on the ranking itself. Please note, even if this is a top 100 list, the game that I put in all of these parts are a very very good game, so please once again do not get offended by the ranking. Speaking of JRPG games of all time, there's actually so many fantastic JRPGs that I highly recommend it for you to play. Thankfully, instant gaming comes with the best solution for your gaming purchasing problem. It has various kind of games for your favorite platforms, and they have lots of amazing deals for you as well. Like this game for example, and look at these prices. This is just an absolute steal. So what are you waiting for? All you have to do is just click my link in the description below, start searching for your favorite games and enter the activation code to your chosen platform. Not only you will save tons of money, but you will also helping me to support this channel. And I'm also happy to tell you that I'm doing the third giveaway for game of your choices in instant gaming. If you want to be like this guy who just got Dragon's Dogma 2 for free, well, you better participate before the end of August. Alright then, let's get back into the list. Final Fantasy Tactics A2 is a turn-based strategy game where players move from location to location on an overworld map, jumping straight into battles or events. The combat is turn-based and similar to games like Disgaea or the Ogre Battle series. In this game, our hero Luso leads a clan of characters with a job system that allows for the assignment of different skills. From warriors to archers to magicians to thieves, you can customize your clan to fit your playstyle. Tokyo Sanadu EX Plus is an enhanced version of the PS Vita game developed by Falcom. This action JRPG features a light story set in modern times, and while it doesn't break new ground compared to Falcom's other works, it has a lot of charms. The combat in this game is standard hack and slash. You have a normal combo string and a special attack that uses a quickly refilling resource bar, along with other special attacks using different resources. You start the game with a few characters at the beginning, but gain more as the story progresses. Witch Spring R is a story-driven JRPG that follows the journey of a young witch named Piberi. At first glance, the game resembles the Atelia series. You harvest materials, fight mobs, progress the story, return to your witch cabin, and repeat. However, what stands out is the game's understanding of gradual progression. Throughout your playthrough, you will notice a constant growth in your character's strength. Enemies that once took several turns to defeat eventually become one-shot kills. This progression applies not just to regular mobs, but also to bosses. Play long enough, and you can become powerful enough to defeat anything in a single turn. Chain Echoes might seem like your typical classic turn-based RPG, but as the story unfolds and the various systems unlock, you start to see how well-crafted the game truly is. One of the standout features of this game is the global level-up system. This means you don't need to engage in endless battles to strengthen your units. You don't need to worry about which units to focus on, as all characters level up evenly through the story and side quests. This makes experimenting with new characters and abilities straightforward, requiring only your curiosity to see what each character can do. Atelier Ryza 3 is a JRPG that retains the turn-based combat system from the previous games along with the visual updates from the Atelier Ryza 2. In this game, the enemies are tougher than your usual JRPGs. However, once you get the hang of the battle system, it becomes incredibly fun. Landing basic attacks grants you AP, which you can use for powerful skills leading to an increase in your core charges. 
Core chargers are used for items, and each item has its own associated charge. Building up these mechanics in each fight is key to successful battles, and it remains satisfying even after many hours of gameplay. <laughs> Golden Sun The Lost Age will feel familiar if you have played the original Golden Sun or other turn-based RPGs. In this game, you guide your party of four characters across a vast world, solving town folks' problems and tackling puzzles. This time, the puzzles are more challenging and incorporate traditional RPG elements, like navigating specific room sequences or manipulating water and wind currents to access new areas. Moreover, the core of this game is its turn-based combat, which stays true to the original but with some new features. If you are familiar with games like Shining Force, these combat mechanics will be a breeze. God Eater 2 Rage Burst is an action RPG set three years after the apocalyptic events of God Eater Resurrection. The combat is the centerpiece of this game, centered around hunting and consuming deities. Even though the kill X quest structure might seem simplistic, the battles aren't anything but. Moreover, the Aragami can extend fights by retreating to recover health using distinct escape routes on different maps. Chasing them down can be a thrilling experience, especially if you manage to interrupt their retreat with a well-timed attack. Code Vein is an action RPG with fast and fluid combat and weapons that swing quicker than their size suggests. The bosses and even minor enemies have wide, fast swings with some larger enemies nearly covering 360 degrees with their attacks. This might seem unfair for a Souls-like games, but Code Vein compensates with safety nets, primarily the presence of an AI-controlled body. And while these partners might not last in prolonged fights, they are highly effective against standard enemies, perhaps even too effective. Trials of Mana is a remake that stays true to its roots, and it feels like a nostalgic trip back to the 90s. The combat in this game feels very similar to the original, and that's a good thing, because the Mana series has always excelled at blending real-time combat with RPG party management. The action pauses when you cycle through the rings to find the command you need, allowing you to manage the chaos effectively. However, it takes a bit to get used to the rhythm, but once it clicks, everything feels manageable and makes perfect sense. Secrets of Grandia is an RPG where you regularly reach point where you need to level up or gather materials for crafting vital gear. In this game, the boss fights are plentiful and challenging, often requiring multiple attempts to develop a viable strategy. Most bosses, except for occasional repeats or variations, offer distinct challenges. So if you find yourself struggling against regular enemy swarms in a new area, it's time to look at your character stats and abilities, level up, or do some of the numerous side quests to earn experience, talent points, or new gear and materials. Front Mission 3 is a game that is all about strategy. You are constantly weighing your options to strike a balance between available resources, your max strengths and weaknesses, and the enemy's strengths and weaknesses. While it may seem that constantly monitoring what's on hand will be tedious, it's actually quite intuitive and fits perfectly with the robot-oriented world. Each of the Wanzer's body parts has a separate amount of HP and can be upgraded with more as well as enhanced with all the usual power-ups. In short, there's literally an upgrade or options for even the most detailed or oriented gamer out there. Rune Factory 4 Special is a farming RPG game at its core. You spend a portion of almost every in-game day buying seeds, tilling fields, and watering crops. This is the main way you will make money, which funds all the other activities you will want to tackle. If you are more interested in the other aspects of the game, don't worry, as a lot of the farming process can be automated. 
Whether you take care of the farm yourself or recruit monsters to do it, farming will generally just take up your morning time, leaving you all afternoon to explore everything else the game has to offer. Rogue Galaxy is an action JRPG where we play as Jaster Rogue, a good-natured young man who's just trying to make ends meet hunting bees on his dusty little home planet. Combat is central to this game, in which you will spend most of your time wandering around in vast, winding environments, running into packs of enemy monsters along the way. However, unlike in other RPGs, Rogue Galaxy doesn't switch between an exploration screen and a combat screen. When the enemies appear, they will be right in the area you're exploring. Golden Sun is an RPG that while rooted in classic mechanics, stands out with its unique twists and engaging features. At its core, you will explore diverse landscapes, uncover ancient dungeons, and collect a wide array of items. Moreover, the battles occur randomly on the world map and follow a traditional turn-based format. However, the game spices things up with a rich variety of attacks and abilities available to your party. One of the standout features is Synergy, which allows characters to manipulate their environment in intriguing ways. Neo The World Ends With You is an action RPG that builds on the intriguing premise of the original game. And for those who enjoyed the original The World Ends With You, this title includes plenty of callbacks and connections to the first game. While these references can sometimes feel heavy-handed, they add to the overall enjoyment for returning players. However, newcomers might find themselves at a disadvantage, as this game assumes some familiarity with the events of the original. <laughs> Tales of Arise is an action JRPG where the combat system represents a significant step forward from previous entries in the series. The game combines the familiar circular battle arenas with a new sense of fluidity and dynamism that feels similar to character action games like Devil May Cry. One standout feature is the perfect dodge mechanic. When you time your dodge right, the game slows down briefly, allowing you to counter-attack with precision. This addition, coupled with the energetic blend of classical and rock-inspired music during fights, makes the combat both thrilling and immersive. Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth Complete Edition is a bundle of two games, Digimon Story Cyber Sleuth and the Hacker's Memory Expansion. In these games, the combat is turn-based. Collecting Digimon is different from catching Pokemon. You scan them during battles and can later materialize them into your party. Evolution is more complex and varied than in Pokemon, since each Digimon can evolve into multiple different forms, often looking very different from their previous stages. You can also default them, which opens up strategic possibilities for obtaining specific Digimon by following certain evolution paths. Tales of Symphonia is an action RPG set in the world of Silveran, a land suffering due to a steady depletion of mana. In this game, the combat system utilizing the series' signature linear motion battle system. This real-time 2D battle engine allows you to move around the field and attack enemies at will. You will control Lloyd by default with teammates acting based on AI settings. The battlefields are 3D, but your movement remains on the 2D plane, aligned with your targeted enemy. This combat might not be the best in the series, but I would say it's enjoyable even today. Radiant Historia Perfect Chronology is a story-rich RPG centered around alternate histories and timelines. The protagonist, Stoke, is a stoic soldier who gains access to the White Chronicle, 
a magical book that allows him to travel between different time nodes represented in-game as a handy flowchart. In this game, the combat system offers its own unique twist. Enemies are positioned on a 3x3 grid, and your 3-person party uses various special abilities to move enemies around the grid, lining them up to hit multiple enemies at once. It might look too simple at first, but trust me, it will get more intricate as you add characters with diverse abilities to your party. The Legend of the Dragoon is an epic JRPG set across multiple islands in the Andinus archipelago. The game embraces classic JRPG tropes and offers turn-based combat with a unique twist. Initially, you rely on basic physical attacks that require time button presses to execute multiple hit combos. And as characters level up, they unlock more complex combos and face enemy counter-attacks that demand quick reflexes. This system is kinda similar to the Shadow Hearts games, which in my opinion adds more tension and skill to the battles. Tales of Graces F is an enhanced version of the original that introduces a fresh take on combat that should excite fans of the series. Now, each character has a chain capacity number displayed beside their portrait, indicating how many attacks they can perform before needing to rest and recharge. The game also features several smaller but impactful combat enhancements. Players can quickly switch control between characters by pressing the corresponding direction on the D-pad. The AI has also improved significantly allowing players to let the party act autonomously while focusing on their own actions. That Aleth mixer is no child's toy. Cross Code is a game that clearly shows its love for classic games like Secrets of Mana, but don't let that fool you into thinking it's just a straightforward combat and leveling RPG. It's actually much more like the dungeon crawler creature in the well, with a heavy emphasis on puzzles. Each dungeon is packed with brain teasers, and even the overworld map has puzzles on nearly every screen. You will find yourself constantly hunting for ways to jump from ledge to ledge, sometimes realizing the solution starts to screen back and the chest you're trying to reach is locked with a key you haven't found yet. The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky FC is a JRPG that follows the adventure of Estelle and Joshua Bright two junior bracers in the peaceful kingdom of Liberl. In this game, the story is conveyed through engaging text-heavy sequences, while the combat uses a unique turn-based system. Unlike your typical classic JRPGs, your characters can move. As for the attack, you can execute normal attack, arts and crafts, or trigger powerful s craft attacks. This variety creates dynamic fights and thrilling victories, offering flexibility and tactics and a lot of fun in mixing different attacks and strategies. Super Robot Wars 30 is a tactical RPG where the mission structure has undergone a significant overhaul compared to previous entries. Instead of a strictly linear progression, the game now offers selectable missions divided into story and side missions. This allows players to invest a lot of time in side missions before advancing the main storyline. Mission branching is still present but not as overt as in earlier games, and training missions are now selectable sorties, giving players more control over their gameplay experience. Star Ocean Till the End of Time is an RPG that truly shines in its battle system, which stands out as one of the best of its generation. The combat occurs entirely in real time, with up to 3 characters in your party. You can quickly switch control between characters using the R1 trigger and set them to automatic mode with the R2 button. This auto mode lets the game follow tactical scripts you have set up, similar to those in Final Fantasy XII. Although there are only 6 available scripts, this feature allows you to focus on controlling one or two characters manually, while the others follow your preset instructions. Alright boys, I think that's it for today. 
I know that there are other great JRPG games that I haven't mentioned yet, so how about sharing your best JRPG games that probably deserve the spot in the comment section below. Don't forget to like the video and make sure to subscribe to the channel if you don't want to miss another great list. Thank you for watching and have a good day. Peace!